Hey, we got a great podcast for you today. Hey, I'm delighted to have these three young ladies here. Again, your name is? Jane. Jane, and we have? Caroline. And we have? Barbara. How lucky am I? You know, not only am I lucky to be around among these beautiful women, but the idea is this, is they have some incredible stories to share with you today. You know, today we're talking about networking, referrals, all that great stuff. You know, it's about working hard and also creating an autopilot to have business coming into you all the time, right? Isn't that what we try to do, right? Mm -hmm. And you gals have really developed an incredible pipeline that always keeps on giving, right? With referrals, 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 right? So what we want to look at is, you know, there's different ways of doing things. But let's start from the top, right? True or false, from your referrals, you get, from the people you help, right, Jane, how, are you getting referrals? Yes, I am. Barbara, do you? Lots of referrals. And are you, Carol? Absolutely. So you're getting lots of referrals, but let's think about this, right? You know, when I, when I talk to agents across the country and I ask them in their current business, you know, do you get referrals? Oh, yes, I get plenty. You know, but are you getting five or ten a month? That's something to think about. You're probably not. But the idea is these gals are always working it. They're working their clients in a very easy way to get prospects who become their clients, right? So let's talk about that a little bit. So, you know, Jane, to get your, your clients, you help out your clients, right? Now, the ones that you help, and I know you help out all your clients, right? They love you. You know, I always hear great things. I always, you always show me letters of people saying what a great person Jane is. I mean, that's fantastic. But the idea is where does that start from? So you helped out this client, and now they're giving you referrals. Why? Because they feel comfortable. You have to make them uh, feel like you help them. They're happy with what your service has been, and they're certainly willing to give you the names of their friends to help them now, as well. Now think about this. When you first got that client, right, you didn't know them, right? No. Think about this, how rewarding it must feel to get a person to refer you other folks and you you never knew these people. You knew them for what, whatever it was, a lead, right? Because you get a lot of, lot of leads, right? right? And people you call in and then you get lots of referrals now because you really built up an incredible business. So think about how rewarding is it for you that you know you spoke to these people, you never knew them before, you spoke to them, you helped them, and now they give you referrals. I mean, what does that say about your business? I'm very happy with my business, and I don't leave any client um, with questions. I make sure that all their questions are answered. I make sure that they know what my phone number is, that they feel comfortable to call me when they have a question. Now, when they call you, do you answer your phone? Absolutely, I do. You see, that's very important. Do you answer your phone? You know, any agent knows they can call me. I always pick up my phone. What is your ratio of people that can contact you and you answer your phone. You need to get into that habit, right? right. Now, Barbara, you know, you've done very well. Your book of business, I know, makes you very happy, right? Very, very happy. I know, you're always traveling. I mean, when do you ever around anymore? Travel a lot. Travel a lot. <laughs> and is it because of this business? Definitely. I wouldn't have the income to do it if I didn't travel. So you have these people that you get, right? And you get them from leads, right? But a lot of your business, because you don't hit the phones a lot, a lot of your business is from referrals because I know you set up certain things. Tell us about what you've done. Uh, I was introduced to someone who does a large group on the 65 business. I became friends with him and I discussed my Medicare opportunities with him. And now I service all his clients who are aging in. I'm his Medicare uh, specialist, he calls me. And I get all his clients who are aging in and uh, going on to Medicare. I get all average five referrals a month through him right um i all my other clients i i'm constantly getting referrals my phone is on 24 7 seven days a week that's good that's good people ask me why you answer your phone on vacation because if you don't service your clients yeah. you're not going to have clients and you're not going to get referrals and, and think about it how much time you really dedicate you know what you're on vacation you know you want to enjoy and that's great but the idea is see barbara you know and and most of these guys here what they'll really attest to is that you know what what does it take for a few moments to speak to somebody? You know, think about what that looks like when you call, when somebody calls you, you answer the phone, you say, hey, you know what, I'm on vacation right now. But you could share, if you have a question, I'll answer it. I mean, that really shows you care, right? Because a lot of agents don't even answer the phone. When they're on vacation, they shut the phones off. Mine's always on, you, you guys always have your phone on. on. And that's what it's all about, right? So 
Barbara, you built up this incredible pipeline. You're working with a health insurance agent. So she found a health insurance agent uh, that deals with under 65 who doesn't want to bother, thank God, yes, they, they with don't. Medicare. And it gives you an incredible, incredible opportunity. Incredible opportunity. So would you tell uh, the folks listening today, should you try to you know, get an affinity with, with health insurance agents who sell under 65 health? Yes, you never know what connections you're going to make. I've done libraries. I do seminars. I'm out there constantly trying to... Uh, recruit people and it's just amazing and once you show them you know what you're doing they're going to refer you to all their friends Mm -hmm. and that's the key right so caroline now i know that you built up an incredible book of business right you're very very happy right Mm -hmm. and i know you came up to me one day saying that you know thank you for helping us build an incredible book a book of business rather but you know what it's all because of you Right, the, the idea is you always, you have lots of activities going on every day, right? You really, you dedicate time to the business, right? You know, what would you say, are there, how are you getting referrals? Like, why are people calling you? Well, I, the one important thing is I always try to differentiate the fact that I'm, I'm an individual, they can always call a 1-800 number, so what is gonna make me different? And um, <clears throat> with my clients, uh, they know they can call me. I am going to return their call within six, six hours if, if they had to leave a message. But usually if they answer the phone right away, they like that. They have that security. They're seniors. A lot of times, too, they may have a simple situation where they, they called customer service. They can't get on the phone with them. They, they need a doctor. They're looking for a certain kind of doctor. They call me, and in two, two seconds, I can look up a doctor for them and give them that information. They feel comfortable about that. Also, I'm very honest, you know, uh, yeah. I give them their options and in sincere honesty and they like, that's important. They pick up on that. They know that they can trust me. Trust right. is very important. Yeah. Once they trust me, they say, you know, here she is, she's phenomenal. I've actually had someone say that to me yeah. and, and he goes, I heard you were phenomenal. They put you on a pedestal. I couldn't wait to meet you. He goes, I didn't know who you were going to look like. Right. You know? And, um, and so, uh, you know, it's just because I was just honest and I, I yeah. everything I can do, I do. I give them their options, um, and then uh, you know they know that there is always somebody they can go to. So what you're saying, honesty is pretty good, right? That's that's Very a important. good thing, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Jane, you do networking groups, right? So you go to networking groups. Share with us a little bit about what you do with that. Um, I have one group that I'm in, uh, about 30 people. We meet every week, um, and I have an opportunity every week to again share what I do, uh, so that they can learn about my business and I've received referrals from them. I also uh, have received referrals from attending like fairs, similar to what Barbara does. Um, And you know, it's as long as you're with people, you talk to people, you work with some of the attorneys that are there, they have people that come into their office that still need help. So there's always um, a revenue if you're looking and making yourself available. So think about it with health insurance, right? You know, I, I always share that health insurance is such an easy product to start a conversation with because are you satisfied with your health insurance? You know, the, the idea is most people are complaining, right, Barbara? Definitely. They, they're right. spending too much for their health care. You know, there's always an issue. Doctors are not in network. I'm paying too much money. This is great for us. You know, if you practice honesty, if you're networking, if you're always looking to build your business, you know, what? I can can also say, I mean, remember, we are brokers. So many times, seniors, the issue of uh, the medication costs are a big problem for everybody. We can find the least expensive plan for that medication, you know, without somebody having to call 15 companies to try to figure it all out, you know. So there's a confidence level, right, that you have because you represent, you're not biased. You know, think about that, just to go off on a little tangent, the idea is most agents who are out there, you know, a lot of them represent just a few products or maybe even one. They work for the carrier. You know, by working for the carrier, truly you are biased and you cannot bring them all the programs out there. You know, there's not one program that's right for everybody, right? Think about that, there's not. And by you offering all the products, well, it really makes you unique. You stand out, you're different, smarter, or better. And because of your honesty, your integrity, it all wraps together, right? So, you know, Barbara, what is something like, what, what tips can you give our viewers, you know, building their book of business, whether you're new to the business or whether you've been doing it for a while, what's some things you could share? You just have to be out there. You have to make, first of all, the leads that you provide are phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, Thank you. That's the most important thing is first, especially starting out, you're going to be more comfortable doing the leads. Then you try to contact your libraries or all your local associations. 
go to doctors when you're in a doctor's office I'll mention to you, you know the staff that you yeah. do Medicare there's so many opportunities out there for seniors and all you have to do is be out there constantly and when you do get a client be available for them 24 7 put them on the right plan do what's right for them and they will always refer you to their friends. Excellent. I remember everybody who's 65 has someone else who's 65. There you go, right? Usually people who are 65, they hang out with 65-year-olds, right? That's what it is. So the idea is you have to work their network, right? Work their centers, their circles of influence. You have to work them too, right? You know, talk about, you know, what do you do, you know, to work those centers of influences, right? Are there any things, that, any, any cards or any, any booklets? What do you give those, your clients, to share with, with prospects. Anything in particular? A, a big Stay time in is inf information too. We have a lot of information. Nobody really understands yeah. the complications of what Medicare is, the, four, the parts of Medicare. I mean, we have information that we can give them that is very helpful. We have things that Senior Services gives us to to, to help them also. Right, you have the brochures, right? Yeah, that's, right. I need the brochures at many libraries and drugstores. Uh, you can, those brochures are phenomenal because people walking by, they'll right. see it and they'll pick up a brochure, they hold on to it, and next thing I know, I get a phone call, oh, I picked up your brochure in the library, I picked right. up your brochure at the drugstore, or even at like some of the doctor's offices that I know, they'll let you leave their brochures in the waiting area. Um, it's yeah the brochures are very important and what you have to think about is you never know where your next client's coming from think about it you know think about your day your week your year and think about it you know look at all the clients you get and how many do you really know before probably a handful right yeah. most of these people they're all from referrals and and building networks and handing out flyers you know i always say it's like a, a grassroots effort like you're running for office we got to be handing out cards, you know, anything slight of kissing babies and shaking hands, you know. The idea is you need to put, you know, posters up everywhere. And the more people that you're working with, the easier it yes, gets because yes. the more that yeah. you're dealing with, the more that's Absolutely. coming in back to you. And that's true. That's true. So it exponentially grows, right? So, you know, the bottom line, Jane, has the Medicare business been exceptional for you? I love it. Has it been for you? Absolutely. I love it. You make your own hours. You make your own hours. Has it been great for you? I have freedom to travel when I want, yet I'm making fantastic money and I'm not doing a nine to five every day. It's, <laughs> right. it's phenomenal. Right. You know, so what we wanted to share with you at this podcast is just, you know, a little bit about networking. You know, what do you do? How do you build the pipeline, right? You need to start thinking about what's next step. How do I make my business grow? And every minute that passes by, well, we can't take back, right? So we need always to think about the activity level that's going to bring us to the next prospect who becomes a client and then ultimately becomes an advocate for you, right? Advocates is the key to your success. You need to start somewhere. So, you know, with that, I want to thank you guys for being on this episode. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure and continued success to, to all of you and continued Definitely. success to you. Remember, you know, networking is the key to success, but you have to do it right. So keep in touch with us. We look forward to the next episode. And thank you for being part of the Insurance Television Network. I'm Joe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.